two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Hello boys, girls, and boys, my name is Luis Michaela, and welcome to Crew Bus Station. Uh, today we're starting the video off here as we're doing a little bit of a look at first PMT, with one of their vehicles behind us here, um, and some of their network changes that they've been doing over the past year or two, uh, including the brands they've been introducing and the changes that are coming in the next month or so, whether they are confirmed or unconfirmed. So, first PMT is one of the first few divisions of first group. Uh, well, First Midland specifically, uh, overall, sorry, uh, were one of the first divisions of First Group to start introducing the Urban 2 livery, which is this lovely sort of coloured based version of the First Urban scheme. And recently, First PMT just launched, well, they're launching their newest brand, which is the one we're about to get on to start the video. Um, so I thought, what better time than to actually analyse the brands that exist at the moment, the potential future for one or two, and why it seems to be that quite a few of the brands don't actually stay on route. This video is sort of a slightly different style to the other fleet analysis videos. It will be coming up under the same title, but the the concept of it is slightly different in that instead of doing the whole fleet, we're going to basically look at the brands themselves and the route changes as well amongst the network. A few routes were lost by first um, to DNG bus just recently. Well, a couple of routes, and we'll cover those when we get to Hanley, which is where we're going to be going on the new brand. We're actually going to be using two different buses. We're going to be using this one as far as Kids Grove Town Hall, and then changing there for the free A, where we'll then be on that one all the way through to Hanley. Okay, so we're on 63102 in the first numbering scheme. This vehicle is one of many ex-Manchester vehicles, especially streetlights based at the Avenue Green Depot, which is the depot the first PMT, or first the Potteries, operate from, and is one of the many vehicles that will be getting the upgrade, the full refurbishment and repainting, relivering, whatever you want to call it, uh, for the new branding that's coming to the routes 3, 3A, 4 and 4A. You'll notice the changes have included lovely new USB charging installed, and new silver grab holes, uh, lovely seats which if you're living on the first half Yorkshire network in Sheffield or Doncaster you will recognize these seats um, as the exact same seats installed to these or the same design and so the care and headrest combo have been installed to the X78 allocated or would be 90L Ride Clips Gemini which are getting a slightly better upgrade than these because they're also getting tables upstairs but both are equally lovely improvements um, and also both have similar livery uh, colours as uh, the livery is referencing the old mainline colours from the 90s which is a nice little callback but the one last addition you'll notice is the tap off uh, ticket to the machine so first are introducing a tap on tap off system across the network in the UK where you can tap on with a card and tap off as well and then it charges you at the exact fare at the end of the day to work out the best fare uh, for value for money is the Brentwood Crossroads, which from that point on this service into Hanley, you can then start to use the Knot, which is a special ticket funded by Staffordshire Town Council, uh, which is covered by all operators on 90% of services in Staffordshire, the main exceptions being the ones to all the towns and a few special event services. bus station uh, which is where we're centering most of the day around now we just jumped off the free a there wasn't a lot of clips of me on the bus uh, simply because it was very busy we will be getting another route after this which is not now operated by first but was done before the 24th of april and that's the route 5 which recently passed to dng bus so i'll see you on board that okay because we're only going to be on it for a short time i'll quickly describe the route 5 
uh, from here at the bus station and then potentially we'll just film some clips on the vehicle. We'll actually be on that solo right there which is number 49 in the DNG fleet and the Route 5 was transferred to DNG from First Midlands or First PMT on the 24th of April when First Midlands dropped out of their services for it. But the Route 5 has always been a shared route. Before DNG took over the routes they now operate, Scrags also operate at some services. Hopefully we'll see some Scrags vehicles on it at some point. Anyway, we're going to jump on this DNG solo. We'll get a few flips on that one. So I'll see you when we reach Trent Bridge in Bucknell. This is Trent at number 49, the Altair solo, which is just next to us at the moment. Uh, actually, was going off on his break and we're actually on 21, which is one of a number of ex yellow bus uh, yellow buses to versus carrying the custom place of T21 TYB from being the yellow buses and of course still has the yellow buses and yellow inside as it turns out. I love a secret rear entrance me. Rather noisy, 146 for DNG. This is one of quite a few metro cities in now having the fleet, but it's one of a pair of the first two they ever took on, uh, with 145 being the other example. These lovely metro cities uh, do regular the 16 actually, and uh, this route does mostly see metro cities, uh, so it's quite a nice route to go around if you're looking for the type with DNG. We're now at Leek Bus Station, which is a very lovely but also very uniquely designed bus station as all it is is just a shopping centre and then some bus stops. Uh, Leek is quite an interesting little town because it's only served by a major operator in one case and that's first and it's only one route. Everything else is operated by D&G Bus or by the lovely local operator of Amy's Travel. Now I'm going to go and jump on the one first route, the 18, which is meant to be branded for the Leak Link. But at the moment, there's only two Naughty vehicles and an older branded vehicle for the 18 on there. There's only one vehicle out branded for the Leak Link and it's on the 101, funnily enough. These brands for these Omnicities haven't been very consistent, but let's jump on the 18 now. Okay, so we're on 65038 for first PMT. This is one of the many Omnicities that have now been refurbished all up for these new brands, uh, carrying the special maquette, this maquette being, I'll use this, uh, the Midlands and uh, South Yorkshire maquette. They also got fitted with the lovely silver grab poles and USB charging, as well as a lovely wood effect flooring. And the vehicles actually look quite modern, considering that these are now 17-year-old buses and the Omni City is a very unfavoured type of bus. So uh, let's have a lovely journey on this one. See you back in Hanley. Okay, so we are back in Hanley. And uh, unfortunately, because my camera battery is a bit low, uh, and because I've been trying to work out the way I'm going to do today, I am going to end it there. Now, before I go a bit crazy about not doing it fully, and before I leave you guys about full details, I will quickly explain with some photos uh, the other brands that have been introduced. So the Leak Link was one I mentioned on that journey, which you didn't see, but it is applied to more Scandinavian cities. They have the same style of interior, but with the branding being correctly inside. Uh, this one is one of my favourites because I love the colouring on it. And then the first branding that was introduced here in uh, the Potteries was the Kingfisher brand, which saw the Route 32 uh, actually um, completely lose its number. Uh, the number is still carried on the vehicles when they're travelling around, but on all timetables and everything like that, it's just called the Kingfisher, which was them trying to remove the number from it, but it never actually worked out. But the branding is very smart and very nice. It was the first one done, so it's much more in line with the original first Urban design. It was one of the first Urban 2 liveries ever designed by First Group. Uh, it was one of the ones that piloted the scheme uh, of the branding. As for other brands that may be coming soon, First are actually streamlining their services in Stoke, so they recently dropped the Route 5, as we discussed earlier in the video. And there are now rumours going around that they're dropping the Route 8 and passing that to D&G, who already operate the 8A and 8B. But also the 32 is potentially going to be, or the Kingfisher is potentially going to be dropped come June this year. Confirmation of that, obviously we have to wait for it. And what I will do is come back here in 2023 and just see how the network's changed and any other changes that may have occurred. I also wanted to quickly point out that in terms of a quick summary of the brands, I think it's a really nice concept, the Urban 2 scheme in general. I mean, all of them are lovely. The concept of the Route brandings 
are really good and they've been great at every sex they've been introduced in but I will say this PM first potteries really need to work on keeping them allocated to the correct route. The kingfish of B9TLs pretty much never come off route, and when they do, they go on the 101, which makes sense, because that route could really do with double-deckers anyway, to be honest. But the knotty and leakling vehicles constantly end up on the wrong route, not even on the 101 or 18. I mean, I saw a leakling vehicle on the 6 last time I was here. So they go all over the shop. So really need to work on keeping the allocations in place. So far, the streetlights are doing good. So potentially, once the streetlights are all branded up and they can be allocated correctly, it's potential that the, the Omni Cities will then stay in the right places and so on and so forth, because it's already just them filling in gaps for each other. Um, but overall, the branding is really smart and I do really like it. And I hope to see some more routes done. My next vlog is unconfirmed, but it will be from London. That's all I can tell you. I'm thinking of a few ideas in my head, and this one would have been longer, but my Camry battery is going to die very soon, and I didn't want to run out of battery. I'm going to go and just bash some more buses, go toilet, go get some food, and just enjoy my day on my own for a bit. I hope you guys enjoyed what I could create here, but I will see you all in the next vlog or the next video. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe down below if you did, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.